Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with a floating cup paw. I was inspired by um, a video that I just watched on YouTube of the challenge between Rinska Downer and Sarah Mack and Rinska got the challenge to do a floating cup pour and I thought oh it's been a long long time since I did a floating cup pour so I just thought how pretty it was and I'm gonna give me floating cup a pour so see how we go so thank you guys for joining me thanks so much and hope that you're all doing well and if not if you're feeling a bit blue go for a good walk do exercise go gardening get in you do some art phone a friend please don't suffer in silence that's not what um is good for you so Please, please, please don't suffer in silence. Yeah, do something that gives you joy. So, okay, I'm doing something that gives me joy. I am painting, acrylic painting. Now, I've just bought a special little spatula, but I haven't got it out of my um, car yet. Isn't that crazy? So I'm going to just... I bought some offset spatulas that are used for cake decorating. So um, just a little bit bigger than these art spatulas so I thought oh they they could be really good in uh, you know lots of things that I like to do with art so I'm going to give them a go I will um, tell you where to get them from when I know <laughs> okie doke so get on with this port it's pretty warm here today I haven't put the air conditioning on as yet because it sometimes makes a noise that I can hear when I come to edit the video I can hear this humming sound um, and I know it's my air conditioning so I'm gonna pour a bit more this is just white it's mixed with the same medium as you see in the drop down box so I'm gonna just put another color at the top I think this yeah it must my very delicious it was the, um, it's the custom colour I make myself out of the, um, ooh, very dark red or magenta and phthalo blue. That's how I make it. And then if you want it to go even a bit darker, you add a blob of black and it comes this real black cherry or I call it berry delicious. You can have it more kind of ready tone if you uh, leave more of the dark red in it but um, yeah I'll worry about my edges afterwards won't worry about those right now so I'm hoping that I can get the right consistency for this floating cup pour I actually should have done that a bit off um, anyway I'll go from so I'm using one of these um, 3d cups that were sent to me I will put the link in the drop-down box so I'm gonna just try this as my floating cup maybe maybe I need lots more paint under there is this how you do it people let me know I'll just start over there Okie doke, I've got this lovely colour that I've just opened, Dark Sea, from the Global Impasto, and it looks delicious. So I've mixed it, and I'm going to, yeah, see what, what I get. I suppose, like, well, this is an open cup. I mean, it doesn't have to be, this. I couldn't, I didn't have one that just hadn't got the segments in. But um, I suppose that you just cut, just cut the bottom off your cup would give you an open cup too if you haven't got one of these. But just be interesting. I don't, you know, to see if the shape actually makes any difference whatsoever. So those gorgeous blues. That was fluoro blue. Oh, and this is the fluoro pink. 
So if you've got these cups, you just make sure that you give them a real good wash straight away, uh, just in cold water, so I am told. This is just a little bit more of a like a burgundy that I mixed up myself. Um, then I'm going to add a bit of the fluoro orange. I've probably got way too much paint in there, so I should stop. Stop. Slap my hands. Always do this, don't I? A bit of white. So, I know this is supposed to kind of create a flower effect, but, you know, I'll just go with the flow. I think I'll just put a bit more white because... I will go over that, but I, I think I want a bit of colour up here too. So we'll just see. Like I said, I haven't done this for a Oh my goodness. Oh, this is going too quick, people. <laughs> okay. Well, that was like a first date. <laughs> it was over very quick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, look at the cells in that. Let's get me wonder wand. Look at the cells there. Oh, holy dooly. Holy dooly, look at those cells. Try and give you a close up on them. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> Way too much paint. Jilly. Rinska did it with such elegance and decorum, and I go and just. Oh God. I just don't do it like the gills do it. With all this nice sophistication, I'm just the rough artist. I should have called myself the. The rough nut artist because I just go and um, rough nut it. Oh, I cannot believe. Oh my goodness. Look at those cells. I have to take a photograph of those right now. I just can't believe it. I have to just get a photo of that because that's unbelievable. Look at these eyeballs that have turned up. That is the strangest thing. I've ever seen. They do look like true eyeballs. Eyeballs. Actually, now I know Rinska did her floating cup and she did it beautifully and, and she did it with elegance and she didn't use a blow dryer or anything, but I just want to blow some wispy bits out. Let's <laughs> blow the eyeball. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't know what is going on here. This is the craziest thing. Okay, I'm going to tilt it a bit. Probably not too much hay, otherwise I'll end up just... Actually, I like it off, off like that, but the eyeballs have now gone into some crazy, crazy shapes here. I don't know why I'm getting the eyeballs, but you know what? <laughs> Oh, you just take what you get. Let me turn it around so I can... I, I just like to give some wispy, blowy bits. Wispy, blowy bits. So I think I might just use my very last bit of... Little last bit of um, Amsterdam paint with Floetrol in there. It just gives a bit of lacing. I know I've got cell mania happening, but... I just want a little bit of lacing to soften these edges so I know that this will help me achieve that. So here we go. Oh, 
itchy nose again. Wow. <laughs> I really do like that. I see the difference in when you blow with a bit of Amsterdam paint and Floetrol. I believe that the American stuff does do a similar effect. So the American Floetrol. So we'll just see if I can get some nice lacing. Yes, lacy, lacy. Oh, it's such a good um, marry of those two products. That's wow. Thank you, Rinska. Thank you, Sarah Mack, for challenging each other because then it obviously is it. Um, inspired me for sure to try the floating cup again that I haven't done for quite a while and um, yes of course pop over and see the girls uh, challenge with each other Rinskas and uh, Sarah Max they both I think Sarah Max was the um, dustpan poury thing so Sarah Mac and oh look what I've done it off and rinse skirts I'll finish those edges off but I absolutely love that I do not like these islands so I don't want to really balloon anything but I will see if I can do a bit of maybe I can do a bit of lacing in the eye lace out the island I don't know will I ruin it now but look at this incredible cells the colors look beautiful I love it I hope you guys do too it is so vibrant I will give you some close-ups in the end shots of the um, uh, lacing but yeah that's a nice one I've left negative space there you go it's a happy negative space not a bad one so yeah if you like these, give me a thumbs up. Let me in, uh, let me know how you feel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm here every day with a pour for you guys. So if you haven't already subscribed, just hit that uh, subscribe button if you so feel inclined. And I will be back tomorrow. And um, just take care, guys. Take care. Create. Do something that gives you joy. So bye for now.